Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at uh, the brand new Predator gun from Inception. So I have one here um, that I built and put together, and we want to take a, a look at it and show you guys what it looks like. So uh, let's open it up. It comes in a large gun case right here. Uh, this is has obviously an Inception logo on it, but I'm pretty sure these are made by Exalt. They make a lot of uh, cases for a lot of people out there. Um, so the large gun case style uh, with the Inception logo, so the carbon fiber gun case. Uh, what you get is two, two sides right here, so you're going to have your barrels on one side and your gun on the other. It comes with this, um, this microfiber divider in there, so you can kind of move it around and change it how you want. The foam is pre-cut uh, for these particular pieces right here, but the foam that is in here, you can see me as I drag my finger along it right here, it's actually cut into all these little tiny squares that is in here. Um, so you can actually pick out a little square if you want to make something bigger, make it smaller, make another little pocket right here, you could do that. You can easily adjust or change the, um, the design of the case and have it fit your part. So if you have a little set of keys or something that you want to put in there, Allen keys, make a little cutout right there and you could drop your Allen keys in there. You want to put a thing of lube in there, you could do that. or your. Uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to stick in there, you can make that fit. And you have a little bit more extra room on the gun side as well. So over here on this side, the barrel side, kind of take these off, you're going to get an Inception Designs barrel, and that is an, you know, it's made by Exalt, it's their bayonet flexible barrel swab just with the Inception logo on it. You get your um, patch right here. So this is a Predator gun patch. It's got Velcro on both sides. And it is numbered. This is your serial number right here. There isn't actually a serial number on the gun. It is right here. It's engraved on the bottom of the patch. It says uh, this one is 18 out of 300. So there are only 300 Predators that they are making. And this is number 18 out of those guns right there. Yeah, so that's going to come with it as well. So when you get your gun, if you do order one, you're going to get two tips and you're going to get five backs. Now this kit right here that I have is missing one of its backs. Um, when they sent these to me, I didn't get the 690 barrel backs. So in this particular one that you're looking at right now, the 690 is missing. But you will get one when you order the gun. So you're going to get um, four standard backs, or the Stella backs. You're going to get a 675, 680, 685, and 690 as your backs, your static backs. But you also get this or this back right here, which at the bottom is marked insert. So this will take uh, freak inserts. So if you want to run a, um, an insert system barrel, you can do that as well with the insert uh, back that you have right here. So you have to go out and buy some inserts and then throw them on there. Now you get two tips as well. One of these tips, they're both 14 inch length. One is a 689 bore, and the other one is a 697 bore. So this one is very overboard, and this one is a little bit smaller. And the reason they give you an overboard one, um, this right here, this tip will work with all the backs, regardless of which one you put on there. So if you use the 690, it'll work. If you use the insert um, with uh, a 677, it'll work. But if you use this one right here, the 689 tip, you cannot go over in bore size on your back. So um, the 690 uh, back is too big for this. You have a wider bore going to a smaller bore. So as that ball travels through, it's going to come to a spot where it's smaller and it's going to possibly break and blow up inside of there. And also, if you're using the inserts and you had um, like a 692, 695, 697 insert or whatever that you're going to use, you need to run the appropriate tip for that. Now, you probably won't, why don't I say that? You are, it's unlikely that you'll use the 697 tip. You could probably use the 689 on most things because paint's pretty small these days. But in that weird chance that you happen to go somewhere and all the paint they had was just too big, then you would get away and use the 697 tip because you're using a larger back uh, that's bigger than a 689. So that's why you get two there. All right, we're going to move over to the gun. 
So we'll undo these straps over here. Cover off of there. So here's our Predator gun. So we've got all Inception parts on it. We have um, their caulking rod, their beaver tail, their bolt, their feed neck, their um, easy on off ASA, which I'll show you. It's pretty ingenious the way that works down there. Their new regulator, their LPR, their RAM, um, their three-way. It's got all of their parts on it. So it's really a Inception Designs driven Predator gun right there. Uh, it has the same kind of uh, trigger setup or um, sear, roller sear, uh, trigger plate a setup that you would see in um, like the Sniper and the Resurrection. Well, I should take that uh, as the Resurrection, really, on there. So that setup is super smooth, super easy to use, really hard to short stroke. So you're not going to run into issues if you're not uh, comfortable with shooting an autococker, having to pull and release properly on the trigger. That helps eliminate those issues for you. It comes with their grips on it. They're, uh, they're nice 45 grips on there. Um, er, pretty much everything on the gun is adjustable. So the ASA, the setup on the ASA, you can slide that around. It is adjustable. Um, the pressure in the LPR, it's not static. You can adjust it if you want. Um, you really don't need to. I'm going to say you can. You don't need to. If you want to put more pressure into the uh, caulking cycle of the gun and you wanted to pull back harder on the bolt assembly and pull that back, you could do it, but it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't make the gun shoot further or strider or anything. It just makes it a little bit more kicky when you try to shoot it. Uh, but it is adjustable. Uh, so uh, the RAM is rebuildable. Three ways rebuildable. It's easy to take all those parts uh, out and switch them out if they need to. Now, the way the pump arm is set up on here, it's set up just the way it needs to be. Now, obviously, people are going to buy these guns and they're going to want to tinker around with them and they're going to go, oh, I can set it up better than that. So they're going to do it. It's possible. Go ahead and do it. Uh, everything's, like I said, customizable on this gun. So uh, I want to show you the uh, just the features. Uh, the regulator on the bottom is adjustable through here. So standard directions, I believe, counterclockwise are pulling it out. It's going to increase. Uh, screwing it in is going to decrease. Uh, the ASA at the bottom, it works similar to how a POPS ASA works. But instead of the lever sliding back and forth on a horizontal plane like that, when you push that down and slide it open, it actually kind of folds open like a sandwich. And that, that's the on position right there. Push the button, come down, that is the off position right there. So that's the bleed position. Um, there's two screws that you actually have to remove the cap to get to, which lock this in place. The cap comes off simple. Once you're in the down position like you are right now, let me slide this over. You just push the cap or the button further in, and the cap does come off. And that thing came right out of there. I've never seen that thing shoot out of there like that. And there's our pin that it travels on. Let me grab this. It came shooting out. Luckily, it didn't smack me in the face. Uh, so this sits through here, like that. It goes through the other side just shot off again. So, uh, I'll grab that. I'll have somebody grab that in just a second. Funny, right? Um, actually, Ben, can you grab that for me? I needed to put it back together. Thank you. Careful of that. I've never seen it come apart like that. And I built a bunch of these all day long and this is the first one to do that. All right. so. When you put the lever down like this, the pin that the thing um, actuates on, so that the, uh, the cap actuates on, will slide out. Now this will come out, absolutely. It just goes through that little hole right there and you can see it will come out from one side and go right through the other. So you want to make sure that you don't lose that piece when you take the cap off. And there's our two screws that you can see right there. There's one on both sides. And they tighten up against the frame and hold it all in place. So I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to try not to shoot my eye out. There. So I'm going to stand it up. I found this the easiest way to do it. Turn it upside down. Put the pin in. Make sure that that lines up there. Push it through so it comes out the other side. You can see the hole on that side right there. I want to make sure that this 
is coming through and lining up and coming out the other side. One-handed is a little different, a little difficult, I should say. I need a two hand. There we go. So you can see it poking through right there. I'm going to make sure my pin is in there, hook it on, and then push my pin all the way down so that the lever can go on. And that's open and shut. Comes through there. All right, on the other side right here, we've got our three-way, our three-way collar and our actuator rod, all adjustable. And the nice thing about this three-way, to change the timing on the three-way, you're not grabbing onto the collar and rotating it or turning it. The end of the three-way shaft right here has a Allen key slot in it. So all you need to do is stick your Allen key in the end right here and turn it, and that will you. Yeah, screw the three-way shaft um, into the actuator collar, um, either in, or I'm sorry, not into the actuator collar. The actuator collar is part of the three-way shaft. So it screws the whole thing into or onto the actuator rod and changes its uh, starting position, so changing the timing of the gun. So super easy to set that up. Typically, you'll see it flush, if you can see right there. The end of the three-way is flush with the end of the, the three-way body, or the shaft is flush with the body. We have a safety right there. So shoot and no shoot. So that's perfect for that. Um, what else I can talk about here? Clamping feed neck right there. And it is a low rise, so a nice short feed neck on there. The eye covers, you can see this one's missing its eye cover. I had it downstairs. Um, the eye covers are the same shape and design that the uh, the Sniper and the Resurrection eye covers are, but they are aluminum now. They are not uh, composite or plastic like they are on those guns. So um, aluminum style, so it really fits and uh, you know continues the lines of what the gun truly needs to look like. Uh, bolt. Let's pull the bolt out. Bolt pin, Delrin bolt pin. Bolt comes out. This is what their bolt looks like right there. It's got two O-rings here plus a soft tip, a rubber tip. And I'm pretty sure this is the same tip that uh, Eclipse is using. So their soft tip that they use on the Geo and the Etha platforms. So um, nice, super soft impact on the ball. It's covered in the front to help with rollback. So you're not getting that first ball and the, the ball that's sitting in the breech rolling back into the, the barrel tip and causing that second ball to come down and get chopped or cut in the stack right there. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good looking bolt. Nice and lightweight, not overdone. When we put the bolt in, the lettering says post 2017 full body. Just kind of telling you what bolt style it is. You want the lettering to be up so that everything lines up properly with the back. All right, so there we have it. Pretty sweet setups. These are um, super cool. I know everybody's trying to get their hands on one and they're coming out as soon as they can. Um, they're giving us as many as we can can and, and getting them out the door. So um, the first ones I finished up today and we're getting them out. As soon as we get more, we'll get those out as well. Uh, so I definitely recommend picking one of these up. If you have, um, if you're interested in cockers and you want a great one, check one of these out. Predator cockers from Inception Designs. They are very rare. There's only 300 that are being made. So get yours while they can or while you can. Uh, order yours now through ansgear.com.